In this video, we'll show you how to build custom YouTube feeds on your website. No coding needed. We'll use the FinSuite Components app to pull in YouTube feeds. Then style everything directly in the Webflow Designer, just like you would with standard Webflow elements. Start by clicking on apps and opening the FinSuite Components app. Go to the builder and select the YouTube feed component. In the configuration panel, you'll find the general settings. Here, you can update the component name, set the instance name, and assign the class folder. The class folder is used as a prefix for your classes to help keep everything organized. In the general section, you must enter both your channel ID and your API key. Use the guides provided to learn how to retrieve these tokens. Links are in the description. Next, choose between a channel or a playlist integration. For this tutorial, we'll go with the channel option. From there, you have full control over what details are shown. Toggle the header, title, description, comment count, like count, and even extra metadata like views, favorites, and publish date. Want to add a play button? That's an option too. You also get to decide how videos play. Directly on YouTube, in a light box, or inline on the page. You can add a load more button and set a video limit. The light box is customizable as well. Tweak its background color and opacity to match your design. And finally, pick a layout that suits your needs. A slider, a single video viewer, or a grid. Now let's select our target div, enter our channel ID to retrieve all videos from the channel, and set our API key. We are now ready to choose which elements we want to display in the component. We'll remove the header, the comment count, and other metadata, keeping just the title and description. We'll add a load more button and limit the video grid to eight videos. Notice we can preview everything in the working preview, like playing the light box. and even use the Load More button. Once we're happy with it, we can create our component. The component is now added to the canvas. Let's minimize the FinSuite app. Everything is created as native Webflow elements directly on the canvas. And some of these elements include custom attributes, which you must not remove for the solution to work. The component also includes custom code, that must remain in place for the YouTube feed to function properly. Let's return to the designer. Now we can style the feed however we like. I'll select the wrapper of the thumbnail and set a border radius. An overflow hidden for the radius to take effect. I'll also select the title and style it differently than the description below. All right, that looks like a clean grid. I can modify the grid parameters and add a column. We have set this grid to be eight items, but it's not being reflected on the canvas. This is because the app always puts a maximum of six items on the canvas for a grid, regardless of the limit you've set. Only the first item counts. It acts as a template that will be applied to all the other items. For instance, if you want your designer's canvas to look like your published output, you can remove all the items but the first one. Turn the first one into a component and duplicate it the number of times needed for the designer to match the published site. Now, let's select the Load More button wrapper. Add a top margin. and style the button with padding. A 
a border radius, and a background color. We are now ready to publish and test our feed. Fantastic! The YouTube feed works just as expected. And when we click on a post, the video opens right on the page in a light box. And each click on load more will load eight more videos. Very nice, what else can we do? Let's head back into designer and create a slider of the most loved fruits. Just like last time, we'll go into apps and select the FinSuite components app. Go into the builder and select YouTube feed. This time, we'll start by setting the slider layout. Then, we're going to base this integration on a playlist. Let's paste in the playlist ID. The preview now reflects our playlist items. The header is never displayed for a playlist. We'll keep the title, the description, the comment count, and the like count, and disable all other metadata. We want the videos to play on YouTube, and we'll leave the other slide options as default. As always, the preview is fully functional. It's time to create our component. Great, our component is now on the canvas. We can minimize the app and start styling it. Since we don't need it, we can remove the playlist name from the canvas. Let's change the display of the components to grid and move the metadata section into the second position. Now we can style it so it's aligned to the top right. Adjust its padding and style the element so it stands out. Let's add a border and border radius to give it a clean look. Like we did for the grid layout, we only need to keep the first item as a template for all others. And if we want to achieve a clean look in the designer that reflects what will appear on the published site, we can turn the first item into a component and duplicate it as many times as needed. Now, let's style the title and description to give them a different look. We're now ready to style the navigation block. Let's remove the background color to make it hollow. And we can also remove the padding. Let's style the button with a blue color and a border radius. And we'll also bring in our theme colors to the slider builder. It looks good now. Let's publish and try it out. Great, our slider's here and it's working. We can use our custom navigation to show the slides and the videos play directly on YouTube in a new tab, exactly what we wanted. This is not a widget. It's a fully customizable YouTube feed slider. We're back in the designer for one last example. This time, we want to showcase a single video using the single layout player. The way to do this is by creating a playlist with only one video. It's very simple. We'll set the integration to playlist and paste in our playlist ID. The preview will reflect our selection. But it currently appears as a grid. We need to switch it to single video. Here we go. We want this video to display only the title and description. And we want it to play in line. Let's add a play button as a hint that the video plays in line. Looking good. Let's create the component. Perfect, it's now on the canvas. We can remove the playlist name from here since we don't need it. Now let's start styling our component. 
Let's turn the title into a heading. Next, let's select the wrapper and apply a border radius. Along with overflow hidden, so the border radius works as expected. Now we can publish and try it out. We can now browse the results, our grid, our slider, and here's our single layout video. And it plays in line exactly as we expected it to. FinSuite Components is always free with your .io staging domain. We will never charge you to test and build your components. When you are ready to go live, get a plan to publish to production. You are one step closer to building next level components inside your Webflow project. You can download FinSuite Components from the Webflow app marketplace, and those links are in the description below. Go to finsuite.com components to learn how we can help you succeed with Webflow.